With the high price of rice, the search is on for alternate staples. And one advocate who's championing this cause is Chaya Muhandri, a researcher from the Bogor Institute of Agriculture. The Institute is promoting various non-rice foods as an alternative. Among the easiest and readily available raw materials are corn, sorghum and cassava, all of which are readily available across the archipelago. Chahaya, who's from IPB's Plant Pilot Laboratory, says the only obstacle in the wider consumption of an alternative staple is popular opinion. And he says the general opinion that all other carbohydrates are inferior is a hindrance. One advantage that rice has is its ability to be processed. So the food expert is trying to formulate non-rice staple foods that are easily processed and ready to cook. One such product is corn-based noodles. Corn costs about 6,000 rupiah per kilo, while rice is at least 2,500 rupiah more per kilo. The institute is also developing roughly milled corn that can be cooked just like one would cook rice. Dengan sorghum, itu sebenarnya biaya yang ditanggung oleh konsumen itu lebih murah. E, nilai gizinya dari segi jumlah itu seimbang antara beras dengan sorghum dan dengan jagung. Yang orang lupa itu sebenarnya bukan dari segi kuantitas, bukan dari segi jumlah, tapi dari segi kualitas. Misalnya di jagung itu ada asam aminolisin, di beras itu nggak ada. Besides containing carbohydrate, corn also contains beta-carotene, which experts believe can help prevent cancer and premature aging and helps maintain healthy skin and vision.